You guys ready to learn about recycling? Come on, let's go. Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack, and today I'm really excited. I'm in a really familiar setting. Does this kind of hallway look familiar to you? We've got lunch boxes here, some apples and names and things like that. We're inside a school. That's right, we're with Miss Messler's class today in Magnolia, Texas, and we're gonna get to go inside and learn all about recycling with some of my really good friends here today. Do you guys wanna learn about recycling? It's gonna be a whole lot of fun and it's really important for the environment. Come on, let's go see our friends. Oh, wow, hi, Miss Messer, how are you? Welcome, Cowboy Jack. Oh, thank you. Hey, guys, how are you guys doing today? Are you guys ready to learn about recycling? It's going to be a whole lot of fun. All right, come on, let's go. Let's go in this other room over here and learn all about recycling. Wow, you guys are really fast. Find your spot. Whoa, I need to try to be as fast as him. <laughs> They are fast, aren't they? Well, hi, who are we learning with I today? I am Carleen with Residential Recycling and Refuse of Texas. It's a local company that does recycling. And you know what I just noticed? I just noticed that you were studying about the letter oh. R, all about R. So we're gonna learn about some recycling and tell you some tips about that. Is that good? There you go, there you go. Well, <laughs> hey, well, if I wanna be a good student like you guys, what do I need to do? Oh, I need to sit down. Okay, let me take a seat here. Find a spot. Do we sit crisscross applesauce? Best right. way. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys for letting us come and talk to you about recycling. I love to recycle. It's very exciting. Does anybody know what it means to recycle? What does it mean to you? Okay. Pick up like bottles that people litter. That's right. Okay. Be nice. Okay. I've yeah. Seen some garbage when I was in here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. For us, recycle means to uh, take care, especially for us, it means to take care of the earth. When somebody tells you, you got to take care of that, if somebody gives you something and they say, take care of that, what does that mean? You put, you, you take it. care of it. You take, you treat it with respect, you don't abuse it, you don't do things that will hurt it, right? Well, you know, God has given us this beautiful earth to live on, right? So we are ambassadors, we have to take care of our earth, right? Because there's a lot of people that's going to live on it after we go. So you, we've got to do our part to take care of it. And that's what recycling is about. Now there's three things that we can do. We can reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reduce means to use less of something. Reuse means what? You use it over and over and over again, right? Rather than throwing it away. And then recycle is what we do. Recycle means to take something, you use it, you clean it, and then you turn it into something else. And that's what recycling is all about. Let's start with this beautiful planet. Why do we recycle? This is this, a picture of a beautiful mountainside that God has created, right? How many of you have been to the mountains? I have. Oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> wow, but that doesn't look like Texas. No, that is not Texas. That's just a beautiful sky, uh, a picture of, yeah. of what it looks like in the mountains. Well, there's a lot of beautiful places in Texas. That's not one of them. We just happen to like Texas the best, right guys? Yeah, <laughs> <All> we <right>. do. <laughs> yes? Oh, yes, and snow. Do you know it snowed in Texas some too? What was it a couple of years ago? Yeah, maybe it'll snow this year. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you? You climbed a mountain oh. all by yourself? Fine. <laughs> That'd be scary. That's yeah, so I cool. Waffle, I <laughs> oh yeah. So the reason I showed you this picture, what happens when you put your stuff in a trash can instead of putting it in a recycle can? Well, it goes to a place called a landfill. Can you say that with me? Landfill. landfill. 
Do you know what a landfill is? I do know what a landfill is, and I don't like them very it's much. It's a nasty place, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, it turns something beautiful like this. They come in with machinery. They take down all the trees, or they take down anything that's there, and then they bring great big trucks in full of garbage and trash, Ew. ooh, and then they put it in the ground, they dig a great big hole, they fill it up, and then they bring dirt in and pile dirt in on top of that. Do you know how long that stuff, it hides down there, it just hides. It's not useful, you can't do anything with this, it just sits there for a very long time. Yeah. I bet it smells really bad. Oh, and bad. it smells terrible. And there's gases that come out of it that's not healthy for us. So let's think of some things that we could put, that we could we take. We put trash in the trash. Exactly. We could take it out of our trash can and put it in our recycling can so that it'll go to a manufacturer. And people like pick up the trash. Yes. And then it's plastics. All the things that you're cleaning things and your drinks and all that come in and metals, all your food, all of your pet uh, food like dog food, cat food, all those cans can be cleaned out. How many of you have a kitty cat? I have pets, you but have I actually... <gasps> you have a bunch. <laughs> can you guys guess how many dogs I have? I Five, you're pretty close. I actually have six puppy dogs at Ooh, home. Ooh, six puppy dogs. We do buy a lot of dogs. <laughs> I have only one dog. You have only one dog. Yeah, and me. I have four dogs. Yeah, well then you guys would have cans. Easy. Then you all have cans that you can put into recycling. And then we have cardboard. You know, all those packages that are coming in for Christmas, that's cardboard. And then we have paper. All kinds of paper can go into recycling. So I'm gonna leave this one just kind of sitting there because I want to tell you a little bit about how long once it gets in a garbage truck and it goes to the landfill and gets buried, it's silent down there and it just sits. No sunshine gets to it, no rain, what we call the elements, so it doesn't break down. So it stays there for a very, very very long time and just to so you can see a few of those things this plastic bag what does that say what are those numbers up there 10 to 20 10 to 20 years it can stay buried in here and it would look just like this it does not degrade it does not break down and become part of the earth again it just sits there oh I'm so sorry that is my mistake 10 to 20 years if part of it's peeking out where the sun can get to it, but over a hundred years if it's buried deep down in the landfill. A hundred years? Do y'all know anybody that's a hundred years old? No. Mm -mm. That's older than Cowboy Jack for sure. That <laughs> How old are you guys? Six and a half. I'm four. I'm five. I'm four. Four, I'm five, and six? Wow, well think about it that way. Like she said, yeah. if that trash bag is exposed to direct sunlight and rain, snow, sleet, hail, wind, all of those elements, it still would last longer than how old you've been on this earth the whole time. That is so true. And a Coke bottle, look at that. How, what is that number? Do you know what that is? 500 years for a plastic Coke bottle. It's not crazy if it's buried in the landfill. Let's look at newspapers. Do you know it'll last for two weeks if it's peeking out and it gets to the elements? But if it's buried down in there, how old will you be in 15 years? Do you know? I'm not answering that question. I'm not answering that question either. <laughs> 520. <laughs> <laughs> you would be 20. <laughs> well, look at this. How many of you have solo cups in your house? Do y'all use plastic cups? Um, I hate to say it, but yes, I do around the holidays because I don't like to wash that many glasses. I do have solo cups, but I recycle mine because 250 years, these suckers just never, never, never break down. 
Cowboys and cowgirls, 250 years. That's even older than Texas is. Isn't oh, that crazy to think that about? Is, oh my goodness, what a good point. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good to know. So that's why it's important. Now, just a couple of quick things. If they take a Coke can, this, isn't this unreal? This is like 800, I mean, 80 to 100 years. And what is this made out of? Do you know what that is? It's a it's a glass, <clears throat> excuse me, a glass jar of ketchup. So any glass jar, it just about never breaks down. That's why it's so important to recycle glass. Because the neat thing about glass is that it can be recycled over and over and over and over and over again. Did you know that paper has its limits? It can be recycled six times before it's, it breaks down the fibers are so thin. Yeah, it does. Glass gets crushed in a big machine, so it's like a dust, and then it gets melted, and then they make new glass products out of it. Isn't glass actually a liquid? It becomes a liquid when it melts down. Yes. See, that's really cool. So if you look at an old, old house, like a house as old as Texas, you'll notice the windows on it are thicker at the bottom than they are at the top. That's right. And that's because over time they slump down to the bottom with gravity and get thicker as they go down. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about how many have a TV in your house? Yeah. You have three. I have three teams. What? I have two. What do you have to have in your house so that your do you? What do you have to have in your house so that your TV works? What? Wires. Wires. Electricity. What? Yes, very good, Captain. Electric. I got that one right. You got that one right. <laughs> <laughs> if you took a can, a soda can, and you recycled it, and they turned it into power. It would, it would run a TV for three hours, just one soda can. Isn't that amazing? No. Yeah. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Dog food cans or any size food cans like that, it, a 60 watt light bulb for 26 hours. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. The energy that it could be turned into or the, the, uh, what it would save in energy and then the trees that they tore down, 75,000 trees to print the Sunday newspaper. You know, paper is made from trees, right? Mm -hmm. It's very important that we recycle paper and cardboard products because what do they have to cut down to make that? Trees. Uh, trees, that's so true. So the more paper and cardboard, that you recycle, the less trees that they have to cut down. Okay? Yeah, that is true. So, one thing you learned today is don't do what? Don't put it in the... Garbage. Don't put it in the garbage. Put it in the... Trash. Recycling can. Right. You don't have one of those? You can get one of those. Those. You have two of those? Okay. Very good. Okay, a couple of little things that I want to tell you about that people think are recyclable and they are not is re styrofoam. Styrofoam, mm, it's just not good stuff. This is a gas. Did you know that? It's made from gas. And if you put it in a microwave, you'll find out real fast. <laughs> <laughs> The one thing you never, 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 never do is if you have a drink or food, don't ever put your food in a microwave and try and warm it up because the gas that is in here goes where? Into your food? Into your food. Ew, yes, it gross. does. So styrofoam, you don't want, you just don't want to do that. And our company tried to find a company that would recycle styrofoam because it's a different process. What we do is what's called household recycling. And it's anything that food or pet food or, or um, 
um, cleaning supplies, things like that, that you have inside your house. Because like water hoses and all that stuff, that's outside your house and we don't do those because the place we take our stuff to is a certified recycling center and it's a it's a wonderful place and I believe is going to get to go visit one. We're hoping so. Hoping really so, soon. It's yes. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, and he will get to see how it's sorted and taken care of. But um, there is not a place within... 75 to 100 miles of Houston that will take styrofoam because it's a gas. It has to be melted down. So that's a shame because we use a lot a of styrofoam. A lot don't of we? it. You are so right. And it's hmm. just, and even though this is plastic, this is not recyclable because some plastics, I yeah, I have a lot of these too. Um, it contains things other than a core plastic. So, and then too, it gets hooked on the belts, and it and it can cause the machine and all to shut down. But so hangers, clothes hangers are not recyclable, and especially wire hangers. Even though we take metal, there, this is not a true metal like a, a food can or a, a, your what your pet food comes in. It's got other elements that make. Uh, that are it's used to make this and so it's not recyclable and also it's got that hook on it you know it gets caught in the belt and that's bad news for the machine well just because we can't recycle them doesn't mean we couldn't reuse them you in a different way them. right you're right we could we could make different things out of those. these things pretty much last forever in your house don't I, they <laughs> i think we could find a way to use that to make some sort of i don't know some sort of toy that we could play do you know with what i do game. with mine I, I get mine together, I, when I get too many of them, I bundle them all together and I take them to my dry cleaners. I do that too because they'll take them back yes, and they'll they reuse will. them again. Okay. So that's repurposing and reusing in a different yes. way than actually recycling. Yes. But it's really important because they can take them and use them just again. Exactly. And that helps our dry cleaners because they're saving on cost. Right. And it also keeps us from having to put more of those hangers back into the earth. Exactly. And your local clothing store or uh, you know any of the stores that where they have clothes, they will take those also because they that's a cost to them. They have to go buy new ones. Every time it goes to somebody's house, they got to replace that. Do y'all have questions? Anybody have questions about today, about recycling? All Are you guys things? ready to start recycling? Recycling is I really cool. I do not cool. buy recycling every day. Do you? I am so proud of you. Well, That's like awesome. Every day. Once a week, I bet. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That is terrific. I dump out my trash when it gets too full. Yes. Yes. Mm, you need to come work for Cowboy Jack. <laughs> I know it. Cowboy Caden isn't big on taking out the trash just yet, but he's a little bit younger than you guys. Well, thank you guys for letting me come and Cowboy Jack for setting in and being part of this. Did you learn something today, Cowboy I did. Jack? This is fantastic. I never thought so much about recycling, really, but when you sit down and you take the time to learn about it, it's really interesting. You think about things, I can't remember, how long did you say a Coke can will last? Let's just look and see. What did it say? Oh. 500 years. That is, that is the 500 years. Isn't that crazy? And I think those uh, aluminum cans, I can't remember how long the aluminum cans last. There we go, Sorry, right here. That's else. what we have the most of, it, isn't it? See, that's really interesting to me because Coke cans, you, they, once they're in a landfill, they'll last 80 to 100 years. But do you guys know what Coke cans are made out of? Metal. It's a, it's a type of metal. It's called aluminum. Mm -hmm. And they actually have to mine for that metal. It's called alumina in the raw state. And they mine for it in different countries around the world where the earth is really red. Like Australia is a big place for it. And Venezuela is another really big place to, to mine the metal that goes into aluminum cans. And so they have to take that stuff that they mine out of the ground and melt it down and then pour it into molds and create those cans. But all of that's natural, right? So we should be able to use it again. And aluminum's really good at being used again and again. So that's why whenever we're done drinking something like a soda or a different uh, carbonated drink in a can, make sure we put those in the recycling bin so that we can use it again rather than dig more out of the earth. We wanna leave as much stuff in the earth as we can because like she said, there's gonna be a lot of people here for a long, long time. And if you're anything like Cowboy Jack, you think that being outside is fantastic. It's so green and pretty, the air that we breathe. You guys wanna take a deep breath with me? One, let's do it. One, two, three. 
See, isn't that nice? And we get to do that because we recycle and we take care of this earth. So that's really cool. Well, thank you so much for teaching well, us today. This has been you guys. fantastic. It's been, I love to, I love to tell people about recycling. I do because like Cowboy Jack said, everything on, everything and on our picture here, it comes from our earth to be made the first time. They have to either dig it out of the earth, cut it down, cut the trees down. There's something that they have to get from our earth to make it the first time. So like Cowboy Jack said, we want to, don't go digging. Let's reuse what we've had, what we've, what's been made before and make it into something new, right? Well, thank you, Miss Messer, for letting us be here yeah. and for, for thank you, Cowboy Jack, for coming and making this fun for Thanks for letting Cowboy Jack us. join you guys. This has been so much fun. There's my buddy, Mr. Banks. Hey, Banks, what's going on, buddy? Look what we've got here for you. Your very own recycling truck for being such a cool cowboy. <laughs> wow, look at that thing. Wow, buddy, isn't that neat that that's made out of recycled products? Man, and you already know how to work it. That's so cool. My buddy Banks here already knows how to work that recycling truck. And see, we're gonna look around a real recycling truck here in just one second. Well, I actually brought this for you to hang on to. <laughs> that is so cool. And you know what? It's got this big bow on it. Let's see if we could take that off real quick. That bow's on there pretty good. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. <laughs> All right, buddy. See, my friend Mr. Banks here is a really big recycler. He always makes sure to put all of his recyclables in this recycling bin right over here. Come take a look at this. So this is a real recycling bin with different products in it that can be recycled, like cardboard, plastic, aluminum cans, and even some other things. And do you see what we're next to right here? I rode in on something pretty big and pretty amazing. Take a look at this right here. Wow. This is a giant recycling truck from our friends at Residential Refuse and Recycling of Texas. It's so exciting and we're gonna get to take a look all the way around it. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, well, let's take a look around this big recycling truck. I know it looks kind of like a garbage truck, but it's not a garbage truck. Garbage trucks take things to the, the landfill where they're covered up with earth and kind of piled up high where they have to biodegrade over a long, long period of time. But the things that you put in your recycling bin are put back to use really quickly. So they'll take cans, melt those down and turn them into other cans. They'll take water bottles and crush them up and turn those into other water bottles and other things like toys like we talked about. There's a whole lot of use for recycled goods and cardboard gets turned into more boxes. Wow, this is a huge truck. I mean, take a look at it. Right here, wow. I mean, it looks like an 18 wheeler on it. So we talk about this a lot. Cowboy Jack is six feet tall. This truck is really tall because it's like a big 18 wheeler, but it doesn't actually have 18 wheels. You want to count them with me? So here's one wheel in the front and then you move back here and you see two, three, four, five. So if it has five wheels per side, that's five plus five together, that's 10. Wow, that's a whole lot of wheels. That's more wheels than I have on my truck. And guys, I love the paint job. You see what that is right there? That's a flag of the best state in the union. That's the Texas state flag, the Lone Star State. All right, and you see this big reservoir right here, this big tub, that's full of hydraulic fluid because all of these levers right back here, all of these things run on hydraulics so that it can compact the recycling goods and make sure they're really tight and small so you can take a whole lot of them with you. All of this stuff runs on hydraulics, like that big cylinder up there. And then they've got these reflective tapes all up and down the side. 
so you can see it when it's dirty dark raining snowing anything we might get here i used to think it doesn't snow here in texas but we actually got a whole lot of it last year all right so since my buddy banks did such a great job of collecting all this recycling we need to put it in the recycling truck so they can take it to a sorting center and we're even going to get to see one of those pretty soon all right so i'm going to take this recycling and throw it right in the back of the truck wow look at that and see now our recycling bin is nice and clean and empty and they can take this recycling off to the sorting center so it can get turned into other products even maybe some toys like Mr. Banks got here. Come check this out. So once the recycling is put right in there, you actually compact it back so you can fit a lot more. There's a whole lot of houses in this neighborhood that are recycling, and we wanna make sure we get all of that recycling to the sorting center. So I'm just gonna use this big lever right here. Come take a look at this lever. There's a lot of big important levers here. This one operates the compactor. So I'm gonna go ahead and push it down and see it squishing that stuff all the way down there. Wow. cowboys and cowgirls well thank you so much for joining me and my friends here today in magnolia texas as we learned about recycling it's been a whole lot of fun and boy do i know a whole lot more about recycling do you guys know more about recycling yes. Yes. all right so what are we going to do we're are we going to throw things in the trash or are we going to put them in the recycling Recycling. all right and you guys should do the same at home because it's real important for our planet and all that fresh air and green grass and big green trees that we like to see we do the recycling so that we get to keep seeing those for a long, long time. Well, you guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of your class. I have really enjoyed it. And it's been a long time since I've been in a classroom like this. This is a great day. Could you guys help me do the yeehaw? Yes. All right, well, let's do it. So make sure you're watching Cowboy Jack on YouTube and click the subscribe button and follow us on all the Instagram, Facebook, and all those things. All right, so until next time we see you, one, two, Three. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>